All right, well, uh, I have this print. Hopefully you can hear me because the microphone's not facing me, but I have this print that I kind of liked, but it's an odd size. Uh, it doesn't come in a standard um, mat um, size. So I conned, I mean called my good buddy Jeff here um, to use his fancy mat cutter and see if we can figure this thing out. So first thing you did was a lot of math that sounded like. Right? Yeah, that's the hardest part of the whole operation we're going to be doing is figuring out the uh, the image area versus the overall mat size and we want to cut our mats to come in so far. So we want about an eighth of an inch uh, overlap on the image so call that an eighth inch bleed on all sides. So we've determined about uh, what our cuts need to be. So uh, from here, once I've determined the cuts, I always cut the uh, outer mat first, which would be the white one. And uh, we'll cut that one, and then we'll uh, adhere the black one to the white one, and then we'll cut the black one. And you'll kind of see how it's done. Uh, All right, yeah, because we, we're going for a double, a double mat look here. Correct. So. Okay, before I take it to the cutter to cut it, I always, uh, on the back side of the mat, I always write the dimensions that I'm coming in on my cutter, and I'm going to come in two and three eighths. I mark it on all four sides because uh, generally when I cut my mats, the bottom uh, border's different than the other three uh, borders, so uh, you know, you want to make sure you cut the border correctly. In this case, they're all two and three eighths on this uh, white outer mat. I'm just writing them on here so you know it's also easier just to to see that and make sure you cut it properly so yeah because on a typical uh, photograph or painting or whenever you mat for some reason just aesthetically it looks better if there's a little more space on the bottom right that's right and I usually do mine uh, no more than a quarter of an inch different so it's optically you can hardly see it but aesthetically, it seems more in balance that way. It gives the bottom a, a just enough weight um, that's not really noticeable, uh, but it looks pleasing that way. So, but in this case, we're not doing that. They're all the same. Okay, this is a Fletcher uh, 2100 mat cutter. It's got stops, uh, stop here and a stop here and a stop here. You can set the stops to the dimensions that you want your borders to be. And um, it's also, you, it has a, a stop down here for cutting boards to 16 by 20 or 11 by 14 or whatever size you want, you can cut raw boards down. It's got two blades, one that's a straight cutter for cutting your raw boards, and the other one is a bevel cutter for cutting the beveled uh, mats. So, and that's what we're going to do now. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the, uh, the stops on this. Uh, and we know that we're all cutting all th four sides at two and three eighths is what we're coming in. So I will just set them all at two and three eighths. So we'll start with this bottom one, the two and three eighths. This one here, top one at two and three eighths. Lock it down on the top. Okay, whenever you're cutting, you also want to make sure you have a piece of board on the back side. It allows um, your cutter to go through the mat into the other board and you'll get a much nicer cleaner cut that way. So we're just going to go in, come down, we have to set this one up to here, let the stop hit the board so that one's all set. So I always double check my, my uh, dimensions two and three eighths, two and three eighths, and two and three eighths and that's what we want. So. I'll just rotate this. Bring this stop back down. Okay, we've got our first cut. Nice cuts. Nice and even, no overs. What I like to do is I have a very fine uh, little sanding buffer and I just go around the edge to make sure it it's, uh, doesn't have any loose matte paper hanging off and it just looks cleaner. So I'll do that before I attach the, uh, the black mat, the inner board, to this. Okay, so now we're going to adhere our black mat to the uh, white mat. So the white one, we've got it face down. We're going to line the black mat up. The black mat is slightly smaller 
overall on the dimensions, like a, an eighth of an inch um, length and width, so that when we put this back in to uh, do our inner cut, it's guiding off the outer mat. Then do you need to adjust the blade depth then, or are you actually... No. Because you're cutting um, from the back side then. That's correct. We're cutting from the back side so the blade depth will be the same. So we've got them together, and now I'm going to put this blank that we cut out back in here. And by doing that, that'll give our, our, uh, our knife something to... Um, more stability underneath when it's coming through. Okay, there we have it. A double matted 16 by 20 fine art print. This is printed on Epson Velvet Fine Art. Correct? Correct. Alright. All right. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Anytime, Michael.